Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Bianca. You should definitely subscribe and stick around. So I never introed the vlog, so I thought it'd probably be a good idea to do that. But also, I recently got a comment where someone was asking if I could explain my me routine now that I'm a mom. And I really wanted to include that in this video. Explaining it to you guys and taking you through the things that I do to make me feel like me now that I'm a new mom. And a lot of my time is dedicated to Sutton instead of to myself like it used to be. Um, so one of those things that, that I wanted to mention first was self-tanning. So excited to get back into a self-tan routine. I didn't self-tan very much when I was pregnant, mainly because I was just lazy and I was like, okay, whatever. I self-tanned for my announcement pictures and my maternity pictures, and that was it. I was like, whatever. And so now I'm so excited to finally get back into doing my routine for fall and winter. Um, ever since college, I've been using Loving Tan. It is my favorite. Junior year of college is the, was the first time that I tried it, and I haven't used anything since because of how much I love the way that it looks on my skin, and I feel like it's the most natural self-tanner, in my opinion. So I'm so excited to be working with Loving Tan on this video. I'm going to take you guys through my full self-tan routine, but also now that I'm postpartum, being tan makes me feel way more confident in my new body because that just helps me feel way more confident in general. I did before postpartum, so now I just love being tan. I am Hispanic, so I have a natural like olive skin tan, but in the winter, I just lose it a little bit, you know? It's not as natural. But that is why I like to self-tan, starting the routine up again. I'm so excited. So traditionally, if I would have had self-tan on, I would remove my self-tan, but this is actually gonna be my first tan of the season, but to remove your self tan loving tan actually has a product to do it so they have the deluxe tan remover so it's self tanning removing and priming gel also they have um, a tan removing and skin polishing glove that you use so just when you're in the shower um, put a little bit of this on and scrub your body all over just to make sure you don't have self tan on your skin before that way the new tan that you're about to put on it goes on really smooth and really natural looking also since I knew I was gonna be tanning today yesterday after my workout I exfoliated shaved did all the things to go ahead and prep my skin for my tan today I like to do that 24 hours before love using the two-hour Express because I am breastfeeding so I can apply it in between the feeds because I feed something about every two hours so that way I can self Self tan let it set and then shower in between feeding her so have the deluxe bronzing mousse which I used to use all the time in college I'm in the shade dark I'm sticking with the two-hour Express also that way I don't have to sleep in it since I do feed her in the middle of the night that is just works best for me so if you are breastfeeding then I would recommend this one if not you can do the regular or you can do the two-hour Express whatever is best for you but this just gives me that really natural deep color and I'm obsessed okay so I just washed my face I had some makeup on from earlier so I can show you guys my self tan process I also wanted to mention that the best results is make sure I moisturize my dry spots so elbows knees ankles things like that just using some lotion that way on my dry areas the tan isn't spotty or anything like that over my body I'm going to be using the two hour express and dark and then I also wanted to mention that I do tan my face as well and I use the deluxe face tan also in dark same thing as this product, you can wash it off in two hours, so it's perfect. I don't have to sleep in it. Your face looks so natural, and I just like to apply this with my fingertips, just rubbing it all over my face and down my neck. I really do that last. I'm gonna go ahead and do my self-tan first. Also, wanted to mention, when you guys make a purchase on Loving Tan's website, with the code Bianca Henderson, you can get a free gift with purchase. So if you've been using Loving Tan and you're out of stock and you want to restock for the season or this is your first time trying it, just enter my code Bianca Henderson and you guys will get a free gift. So I just take the deluxe bronzing mousse and shake it up a little bit before. This mitt is also from Loving Tan. They have my favorite mitt ever. I've repurchased this actually like three or four times. So I just do a couple of squirts and then I'm gonna do my arm first just to show you guys. I always apply in circular motions going down my arm. Make sure I get the inside of my elbow right there, and then just bringing it down, circular motions going all over. So you can already see, I need to do a little bit more, but I feel like you guys can already see the instant color change. 
and already it's looking so natural which is again the number one reason why i love loving tan especially since i already have tan skin it just gives me the best glow and evens out my skin tone for me i also wanted to mention to do the tops of my hands as soon as i'm done doing a section whatever i have left on the mitt i just bring onto the top of my hands and then i go over it again um same with my feet but i go over it again one last time before i um am finished tanning so it just looks like this also the hardest thing to do when you're tanning is to get your back yourself so i'm gonna obviously have to tan like my back and stuff off camera but what i do is i push over on this side and rub and then switch hands push over on that side and then just kind of like turn and go like this that's just the easiest way I found to do it. You can completely do your back by yourself. As you can already tell the difference, is that not so good? I'm telling you guys, loving tan is the best. Okay, I'm just gonna get my like back shoulder blade one more time. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my body off camera so I can make sure I get an even tan all over my full body. And then when I do my face, I'll come back and show you guys that just to give a little demonstration. My tan is officially all on. We are on the two hour countdown for it to settle and kind of process now i'm going to do my face really quick if you aren't really familiar with loving tans products they do have other products other than just the foaming self tan so they have a bronze shimmer luminous cream and that cream you can just apply every day you apply it you can use a mitt and then um wait five minutes put your clothes on be glowy all day and then just wash it off in the shower at night and then also i just recently got this and i'm very excited to try it out it's the deluxe gradual tan so essentially it's just like a nourishing body tinted lotion so they do have other products as well if you want to go on their website and check it out I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out and then distribute between my fingertips and start at my cheeks cheeks and chin and then bring it down my neck back to my ears and then go over my ears a little bit just to make sure my ears are also done so I don't have like discolored ears from the rest of my body all the way up to underneath my eyes Basically, you're just rubbing this in like a lotion, like your everyday moisturizer. Super simple. This goes a long way so that the bottle lasts a while. Make sure I get my eyebrows all the way up to my hairline. Same with over here. And then I like to just like make sure I press it into my skin. It's really seriously just like you're doing your skincare. Like you would press your products into your skin to make sure that the color absorbs really nicely into your skin, eyelids, and everything. So there we go. I feel like it's pretty good all over. And then also I like to do it pretty close to hair wash days. So that way I can like really get it into my hairline and not even worry because when I shower, um, probably tomorrow morning I'm gonna be washing my hair so okay face is done now this is also going to sit for two hours and then I will come back when I wash it off and show you guys the final result I just got out of the shower and my tan looks so good here are the final results for you guys also my legs are nice and bronzed and glowy overall we love i'm so excited i got to work with loving tan on this video like i said i've been using their products forever so i am so excited to share this with you guys and also don't forget my code bianca henderson will get you guys a free gift with your purchase on loving tan's website and then also wanted to keep sharing the things that i do for me time as a mom kind of like my me time routine um, I've mentioned this in vlogs before, but I try and get out of the house at least for like 30 minutes, kind of have me time, listen to my podcast, go get coffee, go work out, go run to the store or something, go to Target, literally anything, just kind of doing something for myself for 30 minutes by myself, just so it kind of feels like it used to when I could just go out and run my errands and I think really just like having a little bit of me time throughout the day really helps. A lot um, another thing that I do is I always make sure I do my skincare in the morning so that's ice rolling my face um, using my little pink um, face sculpting tool I'm um, getting all my skincare washing my face sometimes I don't put on makeup but I always make sure I do my skincare that's another thing that I always do for myself and same thing for at night um, and then also with working out 
I saw something the other day and I really wanted to, to share it with you guys because sometimes I feel like, not really selfish, but sometimes I feel like working out is not a waste of time, but it just takes time, time that I could be spending with Sutton in the morning or like at any time really. And um, so I try to go a lot when she's sleeping, but also I saw something that said like, um, working out isn't selfish, not working out or not exercising or not trying to be the healthiest version of you is because then it's going to limit you on like being able to play with your child or living like the best life, your best possible life and like being healthy and showing them, um, like being a role model for them and being able to like keep up with them when they're playing and stuff and going to work out is actually like a really positive thing for you and them and just like maintaining your health and all of that stuff if that makes sense and when I read that I was like okay that's actually really cool I've never thought about it that way like I've always just thought about it as like me taking time away from her but actually me putting time into like my health and wellness is actually benefiting her in the long run so I just thought that that was really interesting it was an interesting take and a couple more things that I do for my me routine is reading reading at night is just something I love to do like finding your own hobby I would recommend I enjoy reading but like there's other things that you can do um but that is just another form of me time and it makes me feel like my old self last thing i want to say is hanging out with friends i would definitely like make sure you schedule in time to hang out with your friends because it's really therapeutic for you and um it's something that i found i totally enjoy and look forward to and it's such like a refresh and a good reset especially when you spend a lot of time at home and like with your family doing chores like i feel like my life is a constant routine of like nap time cleaning feeding sleeping um laundry cleaning nap time feeding it just feels like i'm in such a repetitive stage of my life so i keep trying to switch it up and do things that kind of get me out of my routine i feel like with a baby it is really easy to like have a really repetitive life especially like when you're starting to get the routine of having nap times and feeding and stuff like that it is just such a routine life having children so that's what I've come to realize so doing those things to kind of like switch up my routine and to kind of like make my days more fun um, is what I've been trying to do so that's pretty much my new routine it's really not excessive I feel like it's all pretty realistic um, because honestly like when you have kids there's not the whole 30 like i don't take 30 minutes to do my makeup anymore like you can't do anything slow like it's all like quick 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 get as much as you can do done in a day so yeah that just kind of like grounds me and also like on a weekday or a weekend i mean like just really taking it slow like taking naps on a sunday like relaxing just laying around like doing those things i think is totally okay and like just kind of relaxing because you can get really emotionally and mentally and like physically burnt out really easily and so I just try and like have those reset days where I just literally do nothing and that really helps me a lot too so that's kind of what I've been doing for my me routine I think it is really important as a mom to have a me routine and if you guys are a mom or even if you're not you can just comment what your favorite thing is or kind of like your me routine so that way other people can get inspiration so if you want to comment comment i would really enjoy reading what you guys do for like your me routine i could even be sitting down with a glass of wine which i haven't drank in like over a year which is crazy and i don't even miss it like i could never drink again and i think it'd be fine which is really weird because i never thought that like i love going out and getting a drink with colin and stuff at dinner but i really do not miss drinking which is crazy that's a side note anyway comment down below because i actually really seriously want to know what your me, me routines are and if i can like incorporate anything else into mine but yeah i thought that that was pretty realistic what i do nothing crazy going to target doing those things so yeah podcast i always rave about this but the what we said podcast and the morning toast are my all-time favorite so anyways okay let's continue with the vlog i am vlogging on like a totally different day um, so yeah, we're going to start up with the vlog.
good get you in a second. I'll good get you in a second. This is what trying to get ready is like when you have a baby. This is kind of like a pamper me vlog. I um, vlogged a little bit yesterday, but I never actually talked to the camera. So I guess we're just going to montage that. And look, this is bronzer. Today, my mom and I go to the same hair girl, Madison. Um, she's the best. And my mom has an appointment, and I'm like hijacking her appointment also <laughs> to get my hair cut. So um, I just need to cut, nothing crazy. I need to get my nails done, too. I don't know what day that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, hair appointment today. Just a complete pampering yourself vlog, tanning all the things. Currently getting ready. We didn't go to bed until 1 o'clock last night because my mom and I were um, taking her extensions out because um, they were a little bit tangled in the back. So we took her extensions out. So Madison didn't have to deal with that today. I'm also prepping a coffee to go at the moment. That way, because um, I don't think we're going to have time to stop at Starbucks. We are like running a little bit late. Not like lately, but if we were to stop at Starbucks, we would be late. So we cannot... We cannot do that set, but anyways, I'm putting like, like more makeup on than usual because you know when you get your hair done and you just feel like so good and confident, that is like what I'm excited for. So, um, also yesterday, ran to Ulta, like you guys saw, I got a new perfume, I've been needing one, so I got Melrose Place by Way. Um, I love Way, and I've seen a lot of people on TikTok talking about Melrose Place. So I got it, and it's so cute, and it smells amazing. Um, but then I also, oh my god, hold on, my, my right in the corner itches. I also got this new product. It's the Brow Glue by NYX. I've never used it before, but I used to use Colin's hair gel just to set my eyebrows because it was, like, so easy and um we already had it but he took it with him to montana and so i've been left without a brow product for weeks now and i've finally had it especially since i got my eyebrows waxed i was like okay i need my own like brow product and so this just sets your eyebrows into place and it actually works so well Also, it was freezing yesterday and now it's like high 70s and so I had this whole outfit in mind of what I wanted to wear and now I actually have got no idea what I'm going to wear. Okay, quick, got ready. Um, here's my outfit. It's H&M Zara pants. I can't stop wearing my shoes still. Here it is. Well, both of our hair looks so good, but my hair literally looks so good. I got a little bit of a chop and more layers, some curtain bangs. Do you see them? They're cute. Is that what they're called? Yeah. As for face framing and lots of layers, and that is what she did. And now my new hair dryer comes tomorrow, so I can give it a little air wrap situation, and it's going to be very cute, but I like my hair a lot. 
I'll have to show you guys when we're not in a parking garage because it's like difficult. Okay, we don't have to go anywhere else but home. So look at my hair. I'm about to put Sutton down for a nap really quick. Also, just got in some winter clothes for her, like snowsuit situation, stuff like that. So I'll show you after I put her down. No idea what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I need to edit a vlog, but other than that, no clue. Sutton's asleep. Let me show you quick. I okay, I need to edit a video, but I have got first of all. I'm all over the place. I'm so tired. Literally so tired. I've had coffee today and I can barely stay awake right now. So that's, that's good for me. Let me show you her cute little clothes. So I got this new little key thing from the hair salon. I like found it there. They were selling them. And I was like, wait, this is so cute. And I literally just have my car key on it and my house key and my mailbox key. Because I lost my key fob for the apartment complex get into the things i don't know where it went one day it was on my keys and one day it wasn't first is this little snowsuit it's got bare ears it's got a nice fluffy inside the door is open we live actually like super close to the airport in charlotte so um yeah that's why you can always hear airplanes in the background but then it's like a puffer material i got six to 12 months and this is huge like my child is not this big so she's definitely gonna have to grow into it um but it's pink it's so cute and the feet are open and everything but the inside is um that furry material too like it's like a nice pink furry material so i know she'll be warm in this and so she got this it just looks so big but i don't know we can try it on her one day when it's freezing and then same thing but like it in a teddy jacket Murphy we're gonna put this on her he's gonna think that she's a toy um same thing with the bare ears I feel like everything had bare ears <laughs> so anyways same thing but this one has feet and it's just like that soft and then the inside is not furry it's more of like a sweatshirt material on the inside so I got her this this will fit her better and then I also she has another coat like this at 6 to 12 months um but the inside isn't furry like this and it's from Zara, it's so good. So she'll have that and then she'll have this for her two little winter coats. I think she's good. And again, the barriers, <laughs> everything has the barriers. But yeah, this one's brown, the other one's kind of like a cream color. So she'll have two different options, but got her this as well. It's just like a knitted material. And then I got her a little Baby Gap sweatsuit. So here are the sweatpants. And they're just little joggers and they say gap right there and then here's the cute sweatshirt is that not adorable and this is stitched very good quality but I like to shop at gap for myself so I was like okay because actually gap is so good they have really really good clothes really good options for a really good price so I like to shop there and so then I was like let me look at gap like baby for winter stuff I can't get my hair by me here for winter stuff for set and i found these and also it was on sale so if they're still on sale awesome but i'll link it down below for you guys um so i'm gonna wash all this stuff so she can wear them but even like when we go on walks and stuff and it's freezing like either like later in the day and stuff i think this is gonna be so good just to keep her like cozy warm so that's cute i just noticed him that's cute well damn now i want to take a nap with him did not gatekeep this anymore but the um english muffins from whole foods this brand is so good i'm currently heating one up for a snack before i start like cleaning the kitchen it is just a little bit of a mess i also need to take my vitamins and stuff for today also fun fact about me is i can take like lots of pills at one time like I think I have eight pills in my uh, yeah, I have eight pills in my mouth right now. One. Fun fact about me. Say mama. Can you say mama? Oh, 
No, that can <laughs> stiff on you. Can you say mama? <gasps> can you say mama? Mama. Can you say mama? Come in here and get me set up. Good morning, you guys. I really can't tell if the lighting's good because I really can't even see my camera right now. Um, but we're just going to roll with it. Good morning. I'm meeting Kayla at Orange Theory. It's um, a 10 o'clock class. So I got up with that. Did tell me time better. Um, okay, do you know what I really want to do? I really want to get a pair of sweats from Aritzia and just try them out. See what the hype's all about. So if you have anything from Aritzia, please comment and tell me if it's worth it or not. Except knowing my self and my Aries energy, by the time you're watching this, I probably already bought it. Because that's how I roll. But, um, because, like, I just am, when I want something and when I want to do something, I just have to do it. You know, I can't help it. Unless I, like, literally can't financially afford it or can't, like, physically do something. Like, lip filler. Can't do it. Breastfeeding. Anyways, going into Orange Theory. Just felt like chatting with you this morning. Wesleyan's coming to town today. We're going to get the, like, permanent bracelets together later today. I'm very excited. Just worked out. Now I'm at Starbucks. Today was a little bit of a more late day. Which I needed, honestly. This was a good workout. If you didn't know, you get these, like, emails with how you did. Because you were a heart rate monitor after your class. I need to get my nails done. Oh, my goodness. So, I'm happy with that for today because I started off on the wave floor too. Wesleyan's vlog because we have been chatting away we in her chatting. vlog um but we've been just montaging mine um Wes is in town oh, hey. I'm gonna try my hardest to make it to an 8 45 a.m workout class with her yeah, tomorrow um but we strolled around got lunch at Taco Molino we're in the Fort Mill area and then we just got linked which you guys saw it's like the permanent bracelets so we got the same one. Um, she did her left and I did my right. Mm -hmm. So we can go like this. So we can hold so hands. Like, aw. Just kidding. Well, no, I'm not actually. It's like the modern um, day friendship bracelet. It is. It's so cute. So I'll have mm -hmm. their Instagram link below. Um, because she does like a traveling situation. Like she comes to you wherever you want her to go. Mm -hmm. So that's on that. They have them in other cities too. I just found out. It's called Lincoln Lou. Is that what it is? Yeah. Um, literally so cute. She was super sweet. And it was so quick and so easy. And, and there's a lot of chain options. We just yep. got the stand, or what was it? The classic. classic. Yeah. So cute. So that's in the back. I wonder if she's going to fall asleep. She seemed like she was getting tired. I know. Maybe we should play her Tangled songs. Anyways, <laughs> so we just did that. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. I need my sunglasses. Okay, hold on. Before I drive, I'm going to play Tangled on repeat. Just got home. Um, I took Murphy to the dog park as soon as we got home and then I immediately changed. I popped Sutton in here with my wand on so I could just go to the bathroom really quick, but now we're gonna do bath time. I guess before, uh, just like that holds her attention so I can get her bath ready. Um, has two softball games tonight, so um, she, that's where she is. But yeah, bracelets so cute. Now I wanna get like more gold. I really don't have any gold bracelets. Um, a few, but they honestly kind of um, tarnish, and they're from Anna Luisa, which is weird because I've never had that happen. But um, yeah, comment down below where you like to get your jewelry. Wesley and told me to get some from Orate, so I might try Orate. I still haven't read Loki's Girl Alive because my life has just been so chaotic the past week or so, and then I want to go to bed early because I. Well, Wesley and I would get into the, or I would go work out with her, so I need to. I never get to see her. I really need to do it. Tub is filled. Coming over here to get her. Are you ready? Do you want to take a bath? Lately, our routine has been bath and then bottle of the milk that I pumped the night before. Um, I go to bed. And then books while she digests her milk gives her time to go to the bathroom. All the things before we change her diaper one last time before we put her down to sleep. And then bedtime. Right? That's been our little routine. There we go. Do you want to take a bath? We're still using Tubby Todd, by the way. Tubby Todd bath stuff I need to repurchase. So look, her hair. If you're doing a nursery and stuff, be careful where you, where you hang your mirror. Ours is here, and now that she's bigger, she can grab it. So we have it command stripped to the wall, so she can't knock it over. And if she touches it, oh, sorry, you guys just fell. If she touches it, then it just stays plate in place because she was like hitting it and stuff with her feet, and now we just have it stuck to the wall. <laughs> so yeah, if you have a mirror that is of reach. I would just stick it to the wall with command strips. It actually works really well. Okay, sissy. Then we be brave and we run the naked baby to the sink. There you go. On Colin and she's peed on my mom. But not mommy, just Colin and Gigi. Daddy and Gigi, we don't call Colin Colin. You don't even know that's what daddy's name is. Daddy and mommy. My name is Bianca, in case you didn't know. Let her play around in the water for a little bit too before I start giving her a bath, just because it's a fun way. It's a fun little activity. <gasps> splash, 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 splash. Can you splash? Can you splash? <gasps> splash, splash, splash. done and we just finished a bottle she was a little cranky so we went right to the bottle completely forgot that we were vlogging and now our bookshelf picking out some books it's down there that happened to have fallen when mommy didn't even notice say but we're just all cozy clean aren't we okay so let's see we're definitely gonna have to read this book because she's been grabbing for it this do Big Head Wolf is good. It's my favorite. Ah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> what the camera? <gasps> oh, good night. Having lunch. Elephant. Elephant is big and strong, but you should hear him shriek when all the mice jump after him and give a Cheeky squeak. <gasps> Tortoise. Tortoise is the jungle bus. The birds sit on his back. They chitter chatter as they ride along the grassy track. <laughs> <laughs>